Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor train. Get on the flavor, the flavor, the flavor train. Get on the flavor train with your girl, Lady T. Yeah. I'm hungry, y'all. All right, y'all. You see what's up here. We got some fried chicken from the Walmart Jelly. This is um, a mix of spicy and just regular chicken flats. Um, I got some Ken Ranch bar uh, Buttermilk Ranch because it was on sale. Somebody said it was on sale. Two for four. Um, I got some, oh, my knee's itching. Um, lemon and some sweet peppers. And we about to do it, y'all. Let's say grace. Thank you, most gracious and heavenly Father, for the food I'm about to receive, for the nourishment of my body, for Christ's sake. Amen. Y'all, I'm going to tell you, I'm very, very tired. Last night I was up reading late into the wee hours of the morning and I because I just couldn't sleep, so I just read and uh yeah, I'm paying for it. It's uh right at 6 30 y'all. And uh the girl is tired, but I wanted to stop in and say hey, what's up, just in case I get more busier. And uh, we're just going to bust these wings on that. Can we just eat tonight? Can we just eat tonight? <laughs> mm. Don't sleep on Walmart jelly. Sometimes you can bust the mood. And get a good groove. Bust a mood mm, mm, and get a good groove. Crunch. Ooh, that was juicy. Mm. I saw that vein, y'all. Y'all, they're actually calling for snow flurries of dusting Thursday. Here in North Carolina. It won't stick, of course, because the weather's just been so wishy-washy. Fried just like I like it.
Give me, come here, Vane. You can't be in these wings and things. Messing up the whole. Mm. Mm. You know, I've had since I've had and drenched. Pretty tasty. It almost has a twang to it. Y'all might not see nothing but my eyelids tonight, y'all. Tell you what, that vein is popping right on out where I can see it, honey. Mm. Me and Mr. Silver Pops was talking about doing hot air balloon rock. I was gonna go with mom. Mom ain't studying it. She don't want to do it. So, we're currently scouting that out. Here in North Carolina, they do it. Just gotta find out when and where. Peppers look good. Red pepper has a different taste to it, like a more spunky. I can't really tell the spicy. I know I ain't ate nothing but all I've eaten is regular. Mm. Okay, this one's spicy. I can taste the kick in it. Mm. Mm. And this ranch is more thicker. It's not runny.
Yeah, I'm sorry I ain't talking. I'm just so hungry and I'm very, very tired. <clears throat> I bet you I get my tail in the bed tonight. For real, for real. And you know what? I don't know what happened today. I had to snap myself out of a particular groove that I was in, a mood, I should say. Y'all, I don't know what happened, but I felt a spirit of sadness or something came over me today, earlier today at work, and I thought, wait a minute, what is, what? What is that? And I know in life everything is not always peaches and cream, but I, and that's not the first time I felt it, but I actually felt a spirit of sadness and I couldn't pinpoint it. I couldn't particularly engage on why I was feeling that way. Has that ever happened to y'all? I mean, I had to truly put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. A heaviness came over me, and I thought, mm, let me put on the garment of praise. And sometimes we have to do that. But I, honestly, y'all, I don't know what happened other than I know I was tired. But I did something, 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 I don't know. And, and it, it could be because I've been thinking about and praying about this, this virus that has just hit, is hitting this coronavirus. Oh my goodness, are you kidding me? But anyway, but I won't thinking about that at all. But uh, anyway, just be encouraged. I guess my, my little tidbit for you all today is that when you feel that spirit of heaviness or depression, if you can, I mean, I literally start singing to myself and putting on music and putting my earbuds on. And I had to snap myself out of that place. I'm telling you, it. We can put. We can. If we're not careful, we can allow ourselves to nest in a in a position. And I'm not saying that you know in your private time, if you have to have a little cry or if you have to have a little shout, or if you have to have your little laughing session. We have to. When we're in, for instance, at work, that just wasn't a time for me to be, <laughs> you know, whatever was going on with me. Because, like I said, I can't pinpoint anything as to why I'm feeling that way. But I had to hurry up and move from that train of thought, you know, because it was really. I mean, I literally was sitting at my desk and I felt like I was going to, if I started crying, I wasn't going to be able to stop. I know, don't ask me. But it's so true when the scripture and the word tells us, put on the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Y'all, it was heavy. And so it's so forever true. If you work the word, meaning the word of God, it will work for you. And I just started to meditate on positive things and And it lifted. There's a lifting, yeah. 
I mean, it lifted. So anyway, I don't know who that was for. You know, I often think about people who are considered strong, people that you may look to in your life that they have it all together and you look at that person as always the, the person that encourages you and a lot of time honestly sometimes we have to lift up those people that we deem in our eyes to be strong or that we deem in our eyes that, oh, that sister got it going on or she got it together. You know, sometimes people forget to ask you, how, girl, how you doing? You know, and not that that is necessary for us uh, or, or for people to survive or that, that's something that they need. But I'm telling you, people who are strong alpha people, reach out to them sometime and say, hey, how are you doing? How was your day? People just will automatically assume that it was okay. And I'm not talking about me per se. I'm just saying in general. I just got to thinking about that thing. That you know, every, every one of us, me included, we all need encouragement. Now we don't need people licking our neck and backside all the time. You, But you understand what I'm saying. Everybody, I don't care where you are. In your life, everybody needs some encouragement every once in a while. Isn't that the truth? And you don't have to approach it that there's something wrong with that person. But every once in a while, you know what? Even if they seem like, oh, I don't need you to say that to me. I don't need you to ask me what's going on with me. No, no, no. Or even even if you don't do it, pray for those people. Pray for those people. All those people that you always look at as being on top, pray for them people. Everybody need prayer. Don't we? Everybody needs prayer. You never know what a person went through or is going through. You know? You just don't never know. You don't know where they came from. But anyway, I just thought I needed to say that. I can remember years ago, been about a couple, about maybe three years ago. This man that worked for the company I work for now. He's he's now retired. And I happened to be working late. And so was he. He was high, he's high up in the company. And he happened to be at the snack machine trying to decide what he wanted to get, give him a little nab out of the vending machine. And I was standing there waiting on him to, you know, pick, cause I was gonna give me a bag of peanut m &Ms. Yeah. So anyway, it was one of those situations where, like I'm saying now, somebody that is always giving orders, giving out directions, giving out objectives, goals, and all this stuff for the company. 
And I just asked him simply, I said, how are you doing? Just, you know, I, I don't know if it's the way I asked it. I don't know if it was in the tone of my voice. And he stood there at that vending machine. He said, you know, some days you just, I just wish I could exhale. I will never forget that. He said, it, 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 I'm doing okay. He said, but it can, it can be rough. It can be rough. And he said, but well, some days I just wish I can exhale. And I have never forgotten that. And I thought, wow, you know. He said, but thank you for asking me. And I just, one of those things that you just lock away. I didn't try to corner him and try to do the 20 questions and try to be analytical about it. And it was almost like he, that's all he needed to say. He didn't need to say anything else because I locked eyes with him. And I just begin, and I have always intercessed when I think about that. And like I said, he has finally been able to exhale because now he's retired. But, you know, I can remember that. I can just remember that, you know. And like I said, he was way up there. Now, some of my coworkers that's watching the video, who are you taking it back, Tanya? Who are you taking it back? None of your business. <laughs> But anyway, but what I'm saying is, I just remember that people who are always on the go, they're always doing, doing, and, and, and even if they're not, I'm just, y'all understand what I'm saying. And it's, you know what I'm saying, when you meet people or you talk with people and you just say, oh man, they, they just got it going on. And in their own right, they do. In their own right, they do. They, you know, but I ain't gonna forget that. He said, man, I just, sometimes I just wish I could exhale. exhale. And like it's, when he said it, I got it. There was no other communication or further conversation needed. And I just said, I, I told him, I understand. I understand. He didn't need to go any further and bear his guts and spill his guts and you know, tell me everything that happened to him from beginning to end. Because guess what? I'm not his savior. <laughs> but I prayed to the one who is his savior and intercessed on his behalf. And I still remember that. And like I said, he, he when he, whenever he, and matter of fact, when he retired, I was able to say, now you can exhale. I ain't gonna, I'm going gonna to just tell you, sometimes you have those moments with people that you would never think you'd have a moment with. You know what I'm saying, y'all? So just different echelon of people, just different culture. I mean, you never know that human touch, that human togetherness. I see you, you see me, we we get it. We 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 there, we there. Man, I'm telling you. So anyway, maybe that's what this video is about. This is my jaw jack moment. Check on people. Ask them how they doing. And wh whoever that is, y'all. Whoever that is. Anyway, y'all. I don't want to overdo it. I'm going to eat one more of these chicken wings. I'll tell you what. Sometimes it just depends. When you ask for all flats. Unless they know what you're talking about. They'll give you one of them stairs like. Yeah. Hmm. I wonder how he's doing. I wonder how he's doing. I pray he's doing well. Hmm.
Yummy, 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 yummy to my tummy, yummy, 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 yummy to my tummy. Me and the ladies went out for lunch today. We went shopping in the community. And one of the shops we went into, the lady, she had a baby. She just had a new baby. I don't know what it is when you see babies or you're around babies, for me anyway. You just automatically start talking in that baby talk. And I just took over the whole show. Talking baby talk to that baby though. I was so precious and I was so little. And she had a head full of hair. Pratcha, 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 baby. Oh. Give me some of that sugar. Give me some of that sugar. Now, I won't go kiss that baby, but you know what I'm saying. You know how to talk that baby talk. You be wanting to eat that baby sugar, though. All right, y'all. I'm about to get off this video, though. And about to go into bed, though. Bed! Y'all know the call. Bed! Okay. All right, yeah. I'll give you five-minute uh, lead time so you understand. But I'm coming! <laughs> y'all know the deal. Whew. This was really tasty. Don't sleep on Walmart Deli. Sometimes they have some stuff in there that'll make you holler. Anyway, I want to thank y'all for stopping on the flavor train because what? What? For labor is where it's at. Y'all have an awesome week. And y'all already know how I go. Oh, excuse me. I burnt. <laughs> y'all already know how I go on Friday fish day. Oh, excuse me. All right, y'all. Let me do it. I like my cheetah shirt, honey. I'm on the prowl. I'm on the prowl. I'm getting down and I'm on the prowl. I know y'all, I'm finna stop, I'm sleepy.